Today, I'm going to show you how you can capture a still frame of yourself within your video or something else if you prefer. But the old fashioned way is, and the hard way is to keep playing your video and pausing it and going back and just trying to find that perfect frame. I have an easier way for you. So stick around and I'll show you. I'm also going to show you once you capture that frame, how you can get rid of the background if you prefer and make a different background. What we're going to do to get that frame out of your video is to go to our YouTube channel and you're going to edit the video that you want the picture from. So maybe you had a video where you felt like you um, really had a good presentation, lots of good shots of yourself, and you want to get a, a, just a frame so that you can take it from there and then use it for social media on your Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever. This program that I'm showing you also allows you to make thumbnails, but you don't have to make your thumbnails here. You can pull those frames of yourself or those pictures of yourself and then use them in Canva or get stencil or wherever you'd like to do your um, thumbnails. So you have lots of different options. So let's go to YouTube and I'm going to pull up a demo video that I created just for this. And you go into edit. When you're in there, you're going to um, scroll down and go down to where they have the thumbnails because it's actually a thumbnail creator and it's made by uh, YouTube TubeBuddy. And basically, I like to take my stills of myself, if that makes sense, because it's so much easier than trying to go through your video and stopping it because the the editing program tends to go a little bit faster and this will take that video and go frame by frame by frame. And it can get pretty monotonous and pretty tedious, but it, it's a great way to grab that picture. Now, if you're looking to grab lots of pictures of yourself, you could make a video, just making all kinds of faces and maybe in slow motion and just get a, you know, a couple of minutes of yourself and then go in upload it and then get some shots. I know we've done that with the grandchildren before. We'll just start video, video, videotaping them. And then from that videotape, we'll get some pictures because it was really hard when they were little. You had six kids trying to get them all um, to take a picture at once. Now I say six, there was seven. There was always one missing. Um, we always ended up with six. But anyway, that was a way that we could try to get everybody into the same picture. I have a friend that does that with her puppies um, that she sells as well. So what you're going to select is still frame from video, and this is going to take a minute to load. Now, as you can see, the video is playing, but if you want to stop it and go frame by frame, you just go over here to where it says adjust video frame and select the one of the two arrows. Now, what's happening is it's going to take me talking frame by frame by frame. And like, as you can see, see how slow it's going? I mean, it can get monotonous and it can get tedious, but you can really, you know, get a better shot doing it this way than trying to play the video because it's just that one second that, see, I close my eyes a lot. I know that. Um, I typically will make a video and just purposely smile, keep my eyes open and look for shots because when I talk, I tend to use my hands a lot. I tend to make funny faces and I squint my eyes and, um, it's easier if I purposely make a video just for that. But I wanted to do this one um, to show you a real live video that I made and how I can go through and find that picture that I want to use. So let's just keep clicking and let's get something right here. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and use this one. My hands are there that, you know, maybe it's kind of a, a different kind of pose. And then I'm going to hit continue. And then it's going to come up as the background and I can keep this image. Now, again, this is a thumbnail generator. I can go up here and generate this picture into a thumbnail, but I don't want to make a thumbnail. I just wanted to capture that video or that, that image for, and, and I want to download it to my desktop. So what I'm doing is I took a snipping tool that I have on my desktop and I'm just going to copy just the image of myself and the bad thing that I did is I wore a gray sweater with a gray background. So removing the background on this may not come out as perfect as it should, um, but we'll still go forward. I'm not going to uh, change or anything for this, but you definitely want to have a contrasting 
background with the clothes that you're wearing. And then what we're going to do, I downloaded that to my desktop. Now you're going to go to a program called remove BG dot com or just remove dot BG is what it is. You can use this for any pictures. I've done videos on it before, but I just think this is golden for every person that is working online with websites. Uh, if you're so posting on social media, anything, but upload the image and this is free by the way. And I'm going to find the picture. There it is. And hopefully it'll take the background out. And I apologize if it doesn't, because I have gray on gray, which was, wasn't thinking. I apologize, but there you go. It worked. And so now I have an image of myself with no background. And now I can take that and use it in Canva or get stencil. And I can um, put my own background on the video on the thumbnail, or if you want to use it, like I said, for uh, social media post. So there you go. So two easy steps, very, very easy to do. And like I said, if you're really trying to get a lot of shots, I know it's hard if you don't have a photographer uh, in your house, that's going to take pictures for you. It's hard to always be trying to take selfies. So this is a way that you can just put your camera up, make a video, you know, be goofy, just make some lots of different faces and get some really cool shots. And then you can just sit there one day and get a whole folder full of them. I hope that I wanted to bring in and get stencil real quick and show you how you can upload your photos and you can see the one that I just did without the background. So you're going to go to uploads. One of the things I like about get stencil, I do use this and I do use Canva, but this one I like a lot because I can create a collection and put my images into that collection. Um, so these are just some, some different ones I've used, but um, I'm going to go ahead and upload the one that we just took the background off of. And then we're going to, I'm going to show you real quick how you can have a different background on your thumbnail. And then you've got that picture of yourself without the background. You can also, like I said, use it for Instagram or whatever, and keep it as a white background if you prefer. Um, all right, let me go ahead and make a new thumbnail over here real quick. Now I had gone to pexels.com and gotten a free blurry background image just to show you that I can put my own background on here and then i can add myself without a background again i'm just throwing things on here this is not something i would use but i just want to show you how you can put anything there you could have yourself walking down a city street um, maybe the trees or the woods behind you or christmas lights anything now the other thing that i wanted to show you real quick um, i know this um, just because of one reason i like this program you can take the text and you can put a drop shadow around it. Just increase the size of the text to the size you want. And right here, you can kind of put a shadow. You can also put the text color as black and then you can outline it. Let's put yellow just so you can see it really well. And there you go. So you just, I went up back up to yellow. Here's red if you want to see it go in red. But see how I can outline my text? Canva does not have that in the free program and you can do that with Get Stencil outline your text. So I just wanted to give you an idea of other options that you have. You can use both programs. Um, hope this was helpful. I didn't mean to keep giving you so many tips, but uh, I got carried away. All right. Have a good one. Let me know in the comments if you learned anything new today. That's what my goal is to do, is to give you the tools and the information that you need to get your YouTube channel up and running and profitable. Um, part of it is getting your content out and learning how to use all the tools especially when you're a beginner. All right. Thank you guys. And I'll see you on the next one.